Hey folks, Robbie Payne with Chrome Unboxed, and today we're going to take a quick look at what Linux apps look like running in a container via Crostini on a Chromebook, uh, specifically the Chromebook Pixel. It's the only one that will do this for right now. And if all the stuff I just said to you seems uh, a little bit over your head and you're not sure what I'm talking about, head over to chromeunbox.com and you can read up on what all of this is. Uh, in a nutshell, basically, what we're looking at is the ability to take a container uh, and run a native Linux app right in uh, Chrome OS on the Pixelbook. And so this is going to be uh, a beneficial thing, and, and they're, they're working a lot of these kinks out as time goes on, but it's becoming pretty easy to actually try it out for yourself. It's not full-fledged. It's not something I would say you can uh, install everything you need and start working from Linux apps right now, but this is going to give you an ability, if you have a Pixelbook, or access to one uh, to actually try this out and see how this is going to kind of work. There's a lot of things that uh, kind of have to be uh, fixed up and worked on over time in the next few months probably, but it is up, it is working, and we want to show you. So uh, I want to give huge uh, props to the Crostini uh, subreddit. This is where all this information came from on this. And uh, Crostini 101 specifically is a post that's in here. Um, and right at the uh, first part up here, you can see the instructions he says I found here and links over to this git and here are the instructions that that's it there's not a whole lot to do here they've they've kind of taken care of a lot of this stuff on the back end already for you and so you can get a, a graphic user interface you can see uh, do some basic stuff from terminal again all of this stuff's going to get packaged up in a much nicer way some people have supposed it may end up getting packaged like uh, like extensions in your browser so you'll basically be able to um, install uh, Linux apps via the extension protocol we're not really sure exactly how that's going to shake out and again this is not something that I'm telling you you can use and um, start running all your favorite Linux apps and, and just do everything you need to do in Chrome OS right now eventually maybe um, and we're not even sure exactly how front-facing this is going to be uh, it may it may be hidden behind some stuff for developers we're not really sure so really what we want to focus on today is just showing you what it's going to look like what it's going to feel like to be able to run these things because right now you've got to run a handful of commands and i know you probably can't see this stuff or maybe some of you can if you're watching it on a high-res display uh, i'm going to leave all of the text actually down beneath the video and or in the uh, in the post on the website at chromeunbox.com so you can actually copy and paste these things in but to get this going one of the first things you need to do is you need to be in developer uh, in the developer channel not developer mode but developer channel so all you have to do to do that let's go down here uh, and go to your settings and then under about chrome os detailed build we've done this on many other ones uh, many other videos change channel let it update and then refresh if you're moving from stable to beta no big deal it's when you come back to stable or not beta and beta or uh, developer channel it's when you go back to stable you go backwards a channel you're gonna have to wipe your device so to get there you're not gonna have to wipe anything but just keep in mind if you want to go back it's gonna wipe your device so once you're once you've got that going um, click on the link provided in the video or the the post and you will I will get you to this spot so you can uh, copy paste from here and see this and kind of bookmark this for later but it's actually pretty straightforward so we're, we're gonna open up a shell <clears throat> and I'm actually gonna split screen this real quick so we can kind of see these side by side and in your cross shell first thing is you're gonna start uh, a Crostini VM so you're just gonna type exactly what it says here start dev and it takes a few seconds for it to go and then you'll see this here. So Termina, Kronos, localhost. Next thing is you're going to launch this VM container. So I'm just going to copy this. And where it says username, and for those of you who don't know, right in here, if you just do a right click or a two finger click, it'll paste whatever you've just copied. Um, obviously for username, I need to replace that. So all of that's going to go out. I've already done this before, so I've already installed some of the things, um, but we'll talk about that in just a second. And you can see run container, container name, you need to leave that as stretch. That name, that type of container is a very specific thing. It has all the stuff in it. Um, and so it's going to show you, hey, we got Debian going, and boom, I have a terminal, a uh, Linux terminal here. So you can do any things that you would normally do from Linux terminal right here. So what I'm going to do is I've already installed Inkscape because uh, that was one of the first ones I wanted to try. So I'm going to launch it real quick just so you can see it. Um, and boom, we have Inkscape running with uh, 
some GUI stuff going on. Now keep in mind right now, you're in a container. So if I go to save something here, I'm gonna save it in this container. I can't get it out of here in any way, shape or form. Um, obviously those things will come and go, the, those fixes will come. This is why I'm saying this isn't a full blown um, working solution right now, but it is a full blown working application. So um, everything I would normally do in here is, is all doable. Um, I can't really import any pictures because I don't have pictures in that container, but you get the idea. This is uh, fully working and I can resize the window just like I would expect. Um, it'll behave just like you expect. So here is a Linux application. This is uh, the latest version of Inkscape running natively on my Chromebook in a container. And so uh, launched up real quick. Uh, works really easily, um, does exactly what you'd expect it to do. Now what's even more fun, um, and this uh, this particular thing doesn't run very well right now, uh, but I'm going to run it anyway. It's called Open Arena. It's a 3D shooter um, that exists uh, via apt-get for Linux, so you can just go get it and download it. Uh, but you'll see real quick uh, that we're going to run into some issues as far as frame rates go. It is not fast, and my guess is they're probably not leveraging the GPU at this point. Um, that's understandable, but I just want to show you that it, it opens, it runs. I mean, you can see it. Frame rates are not even workable. Um, here we go. <laughs> we might be getting a frame a second. We might even not be getting a frame a second, but the point is it's running. There it is, um, and I can minimize this thing change the window oh i think it crashed nope it went full screen so everything is tied to this uh, terminal that you have going so the minute you close that terminal the graphic interface that went along with it will go away with it obviously once they get all this stuff ironed out and whether they deliver it via extensions or not that, that stuff goes away. So as you can see, this is all working. Uh, it's a little janky and a little rough around the edges right now because it's a work in progress. This is a thing that's working in the developer channel and it's gonna be for developers probably. Now, if they end up packaging this stuff and putting it into uh, uh, extensions and, and can deliver it that way, great. That would be really easy. It'd be cool to, be, to go to the Chrome Web Store and see, hey, I want Inkscape. Boom, I got it. And it installs and runs natively in its own little container. All they've really got to figure out is file system management at this point. But we wanted to show you that it's not just something we're talking about now. Like This thing is happening and it's easy if you want to mess around with it to just do exactly what I did and follow those commands and boom, you're up and running. No big deal. So I do want to say one thing real quick uh, in order to get some of those things installed you need to have some basic understanding of how to run those uh, scripts apt get and updates and, and install dependencies and stuff like that in Linux so if you don't know about those things um, educate yourself on that stuff we're not going to cover all of that in this video we just really wanted to show you what it looks like to get the stuff up and running so you can do some research uh, looking for apt-get in Linux and see how all that stuff works and how you can maybe install some dependencies and try installing a few pieces of software and just mess around with this new new function that's coming along and we fully expect by uh, IO to really see this thing fleshed out and hopefully see how it is that Google's going to deliver it to the public but guys that's it for this one if you liked it give it a thumbs up hit subscribe down below and until next time we'll see you